Okay, keeping track of the Ghislaine Maxwell case. Now, everybody knows that uh, it's a very suspicious uh, situation going on here. It's highly likely that Epstein uh, was connected to U.S. intelligence or global intelligence agencies. Ghislaine Maxwell's own father was a notorious intelligence agent that worked with the Mossad, among others. He was some sort of super international spy. It was Ghislaine Maxwell's father, uh, by all accounts, who introduced Ghislaine, and his name was Robert Maxwell, by the way, who introduced Ghislaine to Jeffrey Epstein. And there's all sorts of other circumstantial evidence pointing to the fact or pointing to the uh, possibility that Epstein was tied to intelligence agencies, worked with intelligence agencies in some way, shape or form. You have, uh, you know, there's not, there's, there's so much, everybody knows these things. Epstein didn't kill himself, all that. <laughs> But, you know, in case for anybody who didn't, who still doesn't believe uh, that Operation Mockingbird, which was the partnership between the domestic corporate media and the intelligence agencies that was uncovered in, 19, in the 70s at some point. If anybody still doesn't believe, if there's anybody out there who still believes that Operation Mockingbird, with another name, I'm sure, is still not being, uh, is not still d happening right now. All we have to do is look at the Ghislaine Maxwell case. Let's look at this. So, I want to point you to Exhibit A. Now, as we know... The media is still obsessed with Trump. They take every opportunity they can to talk about Trump. Trump is a moneymaker for them. Those of us who understand what's really going on in this world know that. Today in the Ghislaine Maxwell case, let's see. <sighs> Today... The defense attorney for Maxwell is cross-examining the first victim that was brought to the stand, who was being called Jane. By all accounts, from what I understand, um, so first of all, before I even get started, this is inter Inner City Press. Inner City Press is doing live Twitter feeds from the courtroom. They're basically putting together transcripts. I'm not sure how complete they are. So this is one source of information for what's actually going on in the trial. Another source of information, another uh, law YouTuber that's really covering this in depth is Robert Gruler, who's one of my favorite legal YouTubers. And basically, he's taking a lot of information from Inner City Press, and there's another source. So today, the uh, yesterday, Jane uh, was uh, testified. And the attorney, uh, the prosecutors were asking her questions, building the case, trying to tie Ghislaine Maxwell to Epstein's pedophilia ring or whatnot. And I, I think it's possible that she was involved. I'm, I'm, I think it's very, very likely that Ghislaine Maxwell was involved. But as we all know, she was not the only person involved. The sex trafficking ring uh, that Epstein ran allegedly uh encompassed a global network of very powerful people and his connections to intelligence agencies government actors all of this is out there for the public to know for anybody who wants to know in other words your global leaders and your global governments were involved they knew about this sex trafficking ring first of all for many many for decades okay 
And I wouldn't be surprised, and there's circumstantial evidence to point to the fact that agencies within the United States and elsewhere in the world exploited this sex trafficking ring. And as we know, Epstein uh, died in jail in, under very dubious circumstances. That jail, by the way, has been uh, closed. But so today, Menninger, the, pro the defense attorney for Maxwell, cross-examined the witness. Okay. And here we have something very interesting that you probably didn't hear about in the press. Now, as we know, Trump, whenever there's something to be said about Trump, the media will uh, say it ad nauseum. Well, today Trump's name came up in the cross-examination manager in such and such document. That's a, a FBI investigation document. You said you met Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago before the pool house incident. She says, I don't recall. She said a lot of that today when being cross-examined. You said Epstein took you in a dark green car to Mar-a-Lago to meet Donald Trump. And then the prosecutor objects. So here, according to previous documents, a pre the previous interviews by, I'm assuming, the FBI, this victim of Epstein said that Epstein took her, and I think this is uh, this was reported in the news as well. Epstein took her to Mar a Lago. Okay, here we go. There's another mention of Trump down here. You were in a beauty pageant sponsored by Donald Trump. Okay, so here we go. She was, first of all, met Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. Second of all, was at a beauty pageant sponsored by Donald Trump. Now, my only thing is this. Look, I that means nothing as far as this is just that Trump knew Epstein. Just like no, most very powerful people in very powerful circles seem to all be connected with Epstein. Probably because he was funneling a lot of money around. Where he got the money from? Who knows? Did his connections to the government agencies have something to do with it? Who knows? But now let's go to the, a Twitter feed. Let's go to Twitter. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to... Oh, here goes the FBI. Continues to search. They're still doing the January 6th thing. They, they just won't give it up. They don't realize how much they have overplayed their hand here. Because these people are in a bubble in Washington, D.C. They're absolutely clueless. I can be a better investigator than most of these FBI agents. That's a different story, though. So let's go down to one of these. You know, I have all of the... Uh, here we go. I have all of the, the corporate media Twitter feeds up so I can keep track of what these people are lying about at any given time. Let's see if there's any mention about this testimony involving Donald Trump. You would think that if a victim of a sex trafficking ring brought up Donald Trump in her testimony about being exploited by somebody, it doesn't matter what the connection to Donald Trump is, he was mentioned in it. You would think they would have a lot to say about that, wouldn't you? So far, let's see, let's go down. These are old tweets. Now here goes the first one, eight minutes ago. Breaking news, President Biden will extend. Okay, who cares? Fuck, fuck this guy. So, that's not about Donald Trump. Not about Donald Trump. They're talking a lot about the uh, Roe v. Wade case. People wearing masks. 
No. We're at two hours. New York Times retweeting. New York Times. Uh, okay, not Donald Trump. Just tell, you know, just inform me if if someone sees Donald Trump being mentioned in, as being in the testimony today by this young lady. I see nothing about Donald Trump. I mean, they could get a lot of clicks and engagements, a lot of clicks, if they tie Donald Trump to the Epstein sex trafficking ring. Why wouldn't they do that? They can just mention that Donald Trump was mentioned. They can use their normal ways of lying and propagandizing and saying that and make it seem like Donald Trump was intricately involved in this sex trafficking ring. Nothing so far. Nothing about Trump being mentioned in the testimony of this uh, victim of a sex trafficking ring uh, engineered by Epstein. Nothing. I'm going back further. Nothing. No Trump. No Trump. This is the New York Times, people. This is the New York Times. Nothing about Trump? Really? And this happened in New York, by the way, just as a side note. They're talking about Trump here. This is the thing they're bringing up today about Trump is that he might have had COVID during the, the debates. How about, wouldn't it be a little bit more clickbaity, a little bit more outrage inciting to say Donald Trump is mentioned uh, as part, you know, uh, to somehow associate Trump with this sex trafficking ring. All they have to say is, is quote a couple quotes about what the witness said and say Donald Trump and then insinuate that Donald Trump was somehow involved. I mean, it may be old news to some extent. Yeah, people knew about this. But to bring it up again, it would get the clicks. That's what they want. They mentioned Trump. See, they're mentioning Trump again. But nothing about, see, now they're talking about the dossier, but nothing about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. Wouldn't it be much more explosive to associate Trump with Epstein's sex ring? All they have to do, like I said, is mention that she that this witness mentioned Trump as and mentioned that and somehow, you know, create a connection between Trump and Epstein. Nothing. Okay, tell me that there's really nothing about the Epstein case. Here we go, Gislaine. There's the one story, the one story today. You know, this would be top story or it should be top story for something like New York Times. I see nothing about Trump. And if they did mention Trump here, it should be in the headline. This is not normal for New York Times or any of the uh, these other crappy media outlets. This is not normal. So this is obviously, obviously they don't want to bring too much attention to this case. Okay, so Robert Gruler made a good point today and I have a, I have a, I, I'm, I've been feeling the same way. What the government is attempting to do here is they want to prosecute uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and they want her to be the scapegoat for this entire sordid affair so they can say, case closed, we're moving on. So they can get enough of the American population to, to, to forget about it as possible. That's what they're doing here. But, you know, they did, this is just, so, so, so uh, obviously New York Times and other media outlets which have very close relationships to government as we know are keeping their coverage of this whole trial rather light i mean reporters are being allowed in to hear the testimony they can jot down even write full transcripts this guy inner city press is in the courtroom he's literally doing a live twitter feed it's okay they will get a lot more clicks. It would be a lot better for their bottom line, but they're not doing it. So New York Times has no, no mention of Trump being involved in this testimony. 
when they have a golden opportunity to tie Trump to the sex trafficking ring. Even, you know, and like I said, this was reported previously, little snippets of this, but to bring it up now, it can only be good for the New York Times. Like I said, he's a click magnet. Tying him to the, the sex trafficking ring would be nothing but good, nothing but clicks for the New York Times. And they have not mentioned it at all. I will go back I, as far as I could tell in this article. In this article, they didn't even mention it. Probably because they don't want to spark interest in this case. Okay. We have one mention of it right here. Way down in the middle of the article. One mention of Trump. But my point, and that's that's just proof, more proof. Okay, that in a real uh, normal. Let's see what one of the. Let's look at one of the real rags here. Well, let's 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 look at Washington Post next. Washington Post is next. Let's go to fucking Washington Post, and see if because you know Washington Post. They they would put it if they don't put it in a headline somewhere. First of all, they only had one story about the case today. Second of all, Trump was the mention of Trump was deeply buried in the article. I think they want to keep interest in this case as low as possible. And there's several reasons for that. So the judge, Allison Nathan, Allison Nathan she seems to have been ruling. Her rulings have been a little bit more in favor of the prosecution, I must say. Um, she's up for, uh, for confirmation by the Senate to the second circuit court of appeals. By the way, I think she was just appointed to the Southern district of New York and she's already been nominated by president Biden, probably, uh, nominated by president Biden. She's, I think she's been in the district court for less than a year. I was looking at her history earlier. It hasn't been that long. And she's already being uh, up for confirmation to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. Robert Barnes brought up a good uh, point the other day on Sunday with Viva. The Nixon administration tried to influence the judge in the Daniel Ellsberg case through back channels. Now imagine Miss Al Miss Allison Nathan might be being told that hey. You need to be as favorable to the prosecution as possible and let as little damaging information out as possible or none at all if you want to get confirmed to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. And Oh, and let's not forget that James Comey's daughter is one of the prosecutors. That's just funny. But so we had New York Times didn't mention this at all. Well, did mention it once earlier today. They put the mention of Trump deep in the article. They literally are trying to keep interest in this case as low as possible. What can I say? My dad was a psyops uh, guy in the military. So, you know, I got a knack for this stuff. Let's go to Washington Post again. Okay, I've, I've scrolled way down. Let's go up to the top for fucking Washington Post. Let's Let's scroll down. Here we got... Trump, they're talking about Trump, but nothing about this mention in the Ghislaine Maxwell case. There goes Steve Bannon. They're mentioning Trump a lot. I mean, Trump related, two Trump, three Trump, three Trump related articles already. Not about the case today, not about the testimony in which he was brought up twice by a Sex trafficking victim. This is their poor substitute for Trump right here.
So, so far, nothing about Trump and Ghislaine Maxwell or Epstein. Nothing. They're still talking about that abortion case. Still going. We're at six hours back. Here goes another Trump. Not about the Ghislaine Maxwell mention. Nothing about, again, they're mentioning, now they're mentioning, of course, because it's Washington Post. They're mentioning Trump a lot. Obviously. You know, anything that's going to, look, Trump, they got more engagements than this article. So look at a Trump article compared to any other article. Look at the engagements. So let's just look at the likes. It's 272 likes. See when the next article that's going to have 200 likes on it. Here we got one scientist. Okay, because that's about coronavirus. Going back, still nothing about Trump being mentioned in the um, Ghislaine Maxwell case. Let's see what this is. <coughs> Again, Trump. But not about being mentioned as, involved, as you know, even in a cursory fas fashion, being involved in a sex trafficking uh in be, having been mentioned in a sex trafficking case would be an explosive engagement getting tweet and a click baiting article it would be fantastic for them if they had a story about that they would get a thousand likes okay they would get so many retweets i guess retweets are probably the most important metric for for them so <clears throat> continuing we're at 11 hours. And if, as we all know, Washington Post is definitely the most intertwined uh, with uh, intelligence agencies and other uh, government agencies for obvious reasons. Nothing about it. Nothing. We're at 13 hours. They mentioned nothing about Trump being brought up by the sex trafficking victim. Okay, that's not normal. So, Operation Mockingbird is in full swing. What they don't talk about tells you more about what's actually going on. This is a sensitive case for the government. They want to bury the subject matter. They're using Jesseline Maxwell as the tombstone. Okay, they're digging a grave for this matter the media is being told well look it's not like the government controls the media okay let's just be real how it works is that the media and government have relationships the government does things for the media they give out you know fbi agents leak to certain parts of the media gives them scoops so do cia agents give them scoops and the media does things for them. It's a tit-for-tat relationship. It's not a conspiracy. It's normal human interaction. But here we see that there's very little. There's not... They... Washington Post people didn't mention it at all. Let's see if I can go to one of the real rags. Let's go to, like, Slate. Slate might, be, might mention it. We'll see. And I want to see a headline, Slate. I want to see a headline. There we go. Slate didn't. Slate will do it. The names Bill Clinton and Donald Trump were exciting to hear. So they're trying to downplay that Donald Trump and Bill Clinton were mentioned. So Slate didn't disappoint. Slate's a real rag. I mean, look. <laughs> look at their engagements. They're pretty sad, I'll tell you. So they mentioned it. I had a feeling Slate would. But Washington Post, New York Times... And I looked earlier at Associated Press. Another, I mean, their, their Operation Mockingbird, if there ever was. Associated Press, Huff Post. Let's see if Huff Post talked about it. Huff Post is another rag.
they talk they're talking about Donald Trump, but not in regards to the Gisley and Maxwell case. I just find this abnormal as fuck. So they want to they want to bury this matter. They're mentioning the case as little as possible. I mean, it's not like they can't report on it. Like I said, the only thing is that they can't, they're not allowed to bring cameras in any federal court. But you, people are sitting there, like inner city press, in the overflow room or wherever they're at, and they're literally writing transcripts of what's going on. And that's legal. And there's another guy, there's like Law Crime Network. There's all there's a few guys that are in there. We'll see how long that lasts. I think if things go sideways, they'll make it a lot harder for press to get in. But this is what's going on. And, you know, I think it's possible because the government wasn't able, isn't able to bring enough evidence to bear. All they can do is bring these four victims who got um, money from the uh, Epstein Compensation Fund, probably with the caveat that they would have to testify uh, or with this, you know, with the caveat that they would need to testify to uh, to to take down Maxwell at some point or cooperate with the FBI at some point to help bring down Maxwell. I'm not trying to defend Maxwell either. My basic uh, premise here is that Maxwell was involved, but they're trying to use her as the scapegoat of this. There were government actors involved. There were global leaders involved, but they want to bury this bury this whole case so what's happening right now is <clears throat> trying to disinform the public by not informing informing them at all at all it's like it, it's very it's a very simple premise once you understand how pro propaganda works that it's not what they talk about that you should pay attention to but what they don't talk about it is if they tell you to look in one direction, you should probably look in the other direction. And that's what's happening here. So I just wanted to put out that quick little uh, uh, snippet there. And uh, we'll see how this goes. It's going to be interesting for those of us who are interested. I can already tell that a lot of the drooling uh, boomer masses have already lost uh, have already lost sight of this case because it's not being blazed in the, on their TVs uh, constantly. So they're they're right now sitting there drooling over something else because um, the media has diverted their attention away from this, bringing up this whole story, this whole story about Donald Trump and the uh, with the um, COVID test, you know, prior to the uh, debates, bringing that up right now, maybe a way for the media to divert attention away from the fact that he was mentioned in this uh, testimony because they don't, and it's not, and it, they just don't want to bring attention to this case. They want this case to have as little attention as possible. This should be one of the most explosive case. When Ritterhouse was going on, when Ritterhouse was going on, they were tweeting about it constantly. But this case in which, important global leaders are involved and government agencies are involved one mention on new york on new york post trump's mention the mention of trump is buried deep in the article okay in a normal situation you would see headlines blared everywhere trump mentioned by sex trafficking victim in epstein testimony so it's obvious what's going on here not to defend, again, just lean Maxwell. It's just that they're going to use her as a scapegoat to protect a lot more people and to pull the wool over your eyes, which is very easy to do if you're a fucking American, apparently. All right, so that's it for now. I'm out.